for we're on mic. <laughs> <laughs> dick balls, dick I balls. Giant <laughs> dick wraps around yeah. the moon. It's like yes, let's uh, let's I ask feels. ask young men to like yeah, let's get all of the talking about your dick out. It's like buddy, we're gonna be here for years. <laughs> all right, we're gonna open this one with a bit. Oh, <clears throat> ring ring ring. <clears throat> no no no, we're already. <laughs> <laughs> I just, oh Christ. What the fuck just happened? I burped and a whole Are bunch of okay? beer came up out of my mouth. Do you feel okay? Yeah. That was, oh man. That was simultaneously the best first way to start this. Oh, holy like, cow. Because what no one could see was the literal fountain of beer that just oh. came out of Tim's mouth. I, I smell like my brother's sink right now. Was I it, thought it was like corn or something. I was like, what? Just like a full fucking <laughs> ear of corn comes up out of my mouth. Here's a bit. Ring, ring, ring. No. Full corn in my fucking mouth. <laughs> I, I wonder if, I mean, with him, it's interesting. We were, you were just talking about, like, wait, 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 wait. with John Williams. Like, you oh, feel yeah, like yeah. he's, like, recycling a little bit, stuff yeah. sometimes. Well, only because I just watch Hook, and there's, like, like there's almost literally, like, the... Like, the little Luke Skywalker thing. Yes. I Which I one? Was yeah, it's the, the Tommy Oliver's theme from Power Rangers. The yeah. do 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 yeah, like, yeah, like that's in hook. Like, it just feels like recycled. What a tenta. missed opportunity to not have like a very I small know. reprise of that in the fucking movie when they I show. Fuck Power Let's Rangers. Get, we're, the we're done with Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to talk about Power I don't want to talk about Power Rangers. I, I think if you took any. If you went through most of John Williams' like scores and you just took a, a random middle track and played it, mm -hmm. I'm not sure you'd be able to tell what it's from unless he does a theme. And that's right. something you can say about anything, really. Because well, like, yeah, absolutely. Well, we were just watching an Aaron Sorkin video, the Sorkinisms <laughs> video, where it's just all the little turns of phrase that he reuses constantly. Mm -hmm. and I feel like maybe when you just do a lot of shit and you have do, a very I mean, unique, yeah. well, yeah. there's there the classic Hans Zimmer, um, the the, the Pirates gladiator. of the Caribbean, yeah, and the Gladiator, like the fight or yeah. whatever, like the mm -hmm. big eight minute track is right there, smack dab in the middle, is the theme to the Pirates of the Caribbean, dun, unmistakably. Dun, 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 dun. It's pretty insane. Yeah, uh, you, you know, you just use these little codas. Yeah, well, well that's why like all those back. like composers have just factories of people that work for them because then they aggregate those guys. Yeah. Not John Williams, not so much. But with him, yeah. so that's why it's with him. It's, it's incredible that he has had as many. Who Zam Zam? It becomes no yeah. John Williams. Oh, it really? becomes hilarious really when you actually start thinking about every iconic score that that dude's done. Like, how do right. you? Right. That I mean, I wonder. I don't know. You got to imagine when he was doing like the fourth or fifth. Like once he got to. God, I don't even yeah, know. Well, like, well, well, even once he did Star Wars and Indiana yeah. Jones, was he just like, yeah. <laughs> all right. <yeah. laughs> when, when, he did, when he was scoring Jurassic Park in 90, what, 91 yeah, or yeah. whatever, was he like, so here we go again? Like, well, that's, I know this yeah, eternally. Yeah. So he, he he hitched his apple wagon to to Chig, Willie Shakespeare. Sp Steven Spielberg? B Billy Shakespeare. Right. Um, what? Yeah, Steven Spielberg. So clearly, I You mean, really were trying to say Spielberg, weren't you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today's a vomit foam kind of day for me. <laughs> I'm a little, just, well, so I'm a little off. I wonder. I mean, it seems like they because they did this with the with the Force Awakens mm -hmm. teaser. He did the music for it, right? Uh, I'm pretty positive. It, I don't that know I if it was that. a unique music cue, but no, I, I think it, it was really. I think he scored the tr right. the, the trailer. first okay, trailer, sure, the one because sure. when it starts with Finn standing up, the yeah, Duh! yeah, okay, sure. So, in case you guys haven't picked up on this yet, the teaser dropped today for uh, the, the last Jedi, the final Jedi, yeah. uh -huh. the, the the last man, the last Mimsy, the, the <laughs> Star Wars, Star Wars, <laughs> the last Mimsy. My fucking mind would explode. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> I would honestly uh, very much enjoy that. But yeah, so we're, we just wanted to take a minute to talk about this. Uh, yeah. Ahead we're, we're, of time. we're experimenting with opening yeah, with some movie some headlines. News. Yeah. Yeah, and movie news headlines. I yeah. guess the top of the headlines would probably be this trailer. Yeah, this, this yeah. Fort Awakens um, trailer. So we need I was like under a clever what, headline yeah. title though, real Please quick. don't fucking stop doing that on the mic when we have no, to no, think no, of not funny of names. The segment. I'm saying beef of the lines. So for the Star Wars <laughs> headline on our reasonable beef, what would you say? Star Wars trailer came out today. <laughs> come, come, <laughs> click here and watch it. Honestly, I would visit that site. That, like, <laughs> all the headlines were just like, "Hey, maybe Jitch, come check out uh, uh, Lego Movie 7 It's all yeah. we have it now. We got the trailer for it. Star Wars Star trailer. Wars. I dig it, man. I thought that like it's not nearly as like iconic as the Force yeah. Awakens one was. Yeah. Like the Force Awakens one, like that's like the iconic trailer. Like I mean, the, that's a hey, new Star Wars. Almost, yeah, yeah, yeah. Top say, almost but, no trailer will ever be that way. No, no. But but the thing is though, is that it, like it totally transitions and introduces the movie and it gives you jack shit about actually what it's about, which is what it what, what, what the perfect trailer, trailer yeah, should sure. do. You know, a like, teaser. Trailer, maybe not trailer, but te yeah, teaser, teaser trailer. Sure. I mean, and there'll be more substance in the future. But like yeah. like I was saying to Dom earlier today, just over text is that like there are shots in this 
teaser that like don't exist. Like in Star Wars, we've never seen a close up of a yeah, hand. The shallow yeah. depth of field yeah. on the, when she, when she's got her hand down and the rocks are rising. Sure, that like doesn't look like it's from a Star Wars movie. Right. Yeah, and I and there's part of me that has maybe an adverse like a, reaction, yeah. being like, oh, I don't li-, like like yeah. this. Looks like it was shot on a DSLR. Or yeah, whatever, sure. Like, kind of like the tilt shift thing. But like at the <laughs> on the other hand, we were saying, you know, it's I think it's a. a necessary step towards like right. okay, these movies are gonna have to start being like modernized a that's little really, bit that's really funny exactly that where yeah. they need to be modernized where you think of this is what a Star Wars movie looks like where it's like we've seen two radically different adaptations yeah. of yeah. what Star Wars should look like why not this one but that was my favorite part about like Rogue One was it was like when they're running yeah. towards the, the, the walkers it was like we've never seen them from this angle yeah, before no, and not you know, and freaking ne- handheld and they got fresh blood. Blood. But, that, but that big old sweepy shot where it comes around the corner and the Last Jedi trailer, and she's on the rock doing the fucking yeah, lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. like, oh my yeah. god! You know, I, I am very hesitant to trust teaser trailers, though, of what's mm. going to be in the movie and what's well, not no, going to be in the movie. Too. Yeah, because we do know that they they there are for the trailer. Shots. Yeah. Well, now it was. Headlines. I mean, Rogue One burned burned us on that one, yeah. and that was maybe arguably like sometimes. Obviously, you get the things where it was like, oh, a whole scene was cut for whatever time right. or whatever it was. But with Rogue One, it was interesting because he literally said, too, wasn't Gareth Edwards? Yeah, there's- he literally said they shot stuff. They would have playtime yeah. on their shooting days right. where they would just take an hour. They're like, we want to get the shot of mm-hmm. Jin in the black suit or whatever. Right. Yeah. And they that they didn't have a plan for that at all. They literally just wanted to they shoot it. it. Also, yeah. this is that was cut when they were doing the original version. Am I am I correct for the original trailer for Rogue One? Because that was re- drastic recut yeah. towards the end right with well yeah but reshoots. no but, but that even that shot specifically though i just i read him saying you yeah, know we just literally we there had, was never a we plan had her yeah. we had the costume we had the set we wanted to shoot that shot yeah, absolutely there like that's awesome but that's, i think you can also take a trailer for what it is you know like like that's one of my i i love like the art of trailers like yeah. i get like real obsessed yeah about you get that. hyped yeah so, i mean who doesn't buddy? and to me like this was a great trailer like it totally like it's like ooh, all the, like all my friends are back like ray and yeah, finn that, and yes. poe ooh, like i haven't seen them in a while yeah and you know and then you get to speculate about sure. like why is finn lying down with his eyes closed and is he in a wheelchair you know like he's you get real, to spe- he's like he's in a coma right or he's well, yeah, yeah but there's also photos like of star wars celebration there's photos of him like up in adam so. sure well i right. mean I mean, he's obviously not going to be down for the count no and that was i think that was my issue with it where it was just too much of here's your old friends again and not enough of like here's where things are going to go or a hint at where things are going to go because um, there really isn't but there's, yeah, like, but there's, there's none a of that giant in- hint of just through what luke is saying yeah. where we understand now i mean everybody's already there's i, I feel like i basically have a, a very strong guess about what the movie's even going to be like yeah. because of luke's speech and you know that this we, we've sure. talked about it's now going to be the whole balance of the force thing it's not going to be about mm. but just be good or just be you know bad. we're also eight months out from this movie yeah. we don't want like, like if they gave us like yes. the full, like, like, no, Finn, don't go in no, there. Like, we, I'm not saying the full, I'm saying just a little bit of something because think, everything that we've seen in this trailer, yeah. I think we've already know is going to happen. Luke is questioning the point of the Jedi, which yeah. is why he ran away in the first Fine. place. Mm-hmm. Poe is, uh, he's flying shit and then it's not working out so great for yeah. him. <laughs> Finn is currently asleep and not, not alive too, uh-huh. right, too much, not this, working yeah. out for him. Yeah. And Ray's training to become a super strong dude. So yeah, like, but now we, ha- now we see more. Oh, yep. That's where we left him off pretty but much. But now we see what it looks like and we're excited about the look, you know, look, now it's like true. we've been kicked off. I like, like the reignited speculation yeah. about everything too yeah. and about, I mean, it's like the the bonkers like, oh, is, is Ray maybe going to turn by the end of this trilogy? Right, right. Is Kylo going to come back? Like, because they're they're playing up the whole... We saw a smashed as hell Kylo Ren mask, dude. Yeah. Like, there's a lot, there is some shit. And, I, and I've said this before, I think I even said it on Beef last time, is that like, the... The, the Force Awakens is the best marketed movie in I can't I maybe mm-hmm. ever right. right because it was so <clears> simple <throat> it wasn't like it wasn't like hey new Star Wars or anything like that it was remember how much you like Star Wars yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and and I am so confident that they're going to not replicate the remember you like Star Wars thing but they're going to do something there's going to be an angle to this marketing campaign it's going to be right. well, we talked about it I probably if anybody's been listening to every one of these I'm sure we've brought this up before mm. but but I always loved Tim at one point you made a I've good point about Tim. <laughs> you I always loved one of these Tim. episodes. You, you've probably gotten that. No, you mm-hmm. brought up. Uh, we were talking about Batman, the Batman movies, and you had brought up the whole thing about like the how Batman Begins was still shaking off the cobwebs yeah. of the Tim Burton movies, yeah. like the way Gotham looks in that movie, and yeah. and sure, sort of dark. The, the way Even the poster, looks the poster, the poster is like yellow and yeah. black. We mm-hmm. never see that motif again. And then yeah, and so it was like 
it's interesting now because we're going to, I think part of what this marketing campaign is going to be like, okay, so we, here's, you got your, your nostalgia trip, Star Wars, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and now we're going to make you maybe a little uncomfortable. Yeah, no, like I, this is going to maybe not look the way exactly you want it to. I thought that that was kind of what Rogue One was, though, where it's but, like but shit, Rogue One was a, is a lateral move, though. What Rogue yeah. One is like a sideways That step. was my issue with that movie is that it's, it, it goes lateral and then it keeps going. It doesn't yeah. like advance <laughs> anything forward. It's just like, hey, you know, just in case you wanted to know all of this. Yeah. It's largely a That's pointless fair. movie. But it, in the over arc of the, it's, uh, yeah. the point of a movie is not to like contribute to the, the universe at Not large. everything needs to be like no, a no, no. building block but of the, the universe. But also, this, this, no, but you know what? You know what? Uh, my argument, I didn't like, lo- I wasn't head over heels for Rogue One by any mm. stretch, but what's, uh, why I would defend it's even its existence is like, it's just people like this unit, like you want to spend time yeah. there. Yeah. yeah it's we're like we, we want to jump into Narnia every fun, so yeah. often. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I kind of wanted it to move. I wish they would have survived, really. Just seen more about them. Mm, yeah. I kind of want them to keep expanding the universe, but I guess... I, I, I hope I think they might realize that that's not the best idea. I don't. Yeah. It isn't. And it's we, not. And we know I, it I think isn't. they're making a decision to not. That's why I think they're doing like this Han Solo movie is like we know where Han Solo ends right. up. So they're going to... Oh, man, I get jittery well, they're using. I think they're movie. using Rebels to kind of like... Uh, because that's the, yeah. that is the only other canon Star Wars thing right now, right? Uh, well, aside from Clone Wars, in comics, the comics are canon right now. There's a whole slew of new yeah, comics the Marvel, every week. Yeah, like Darth Vader. I yeah. do not know. Oh yeah, anyway, there's some good stuff too. So Anyways. now I know. But yeah, so they're kind of parsing it out with that series and yeah. doing it a little slow. You know, they're two years between seasons. Yeah. Like, how big do we want to expand the extended universe? There's I think that's the smartest shit in the world though, because especially right now, we're even. Our, we Tim, we were just talking about with Marvel. We're now seeing them painting themselves into the yeah. same corners they're, that comics yeah, get Yeah, they're running into, into comic book problems. Yeah. Comic book How do we deal with that like, fucking guy? Exactly. We got him. We got to get him out of the picture. Otherwise, blah, 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 and you're, it, that's just a mess. That's it's why I think tangy. Thanos was such a misfire for like Avengers to get there now. Like, yeah. like 10 like, years? Like, like, it's like, okay, we, we already destroyed the world almost like three yes. times. And now we have the guy that's really going to do it. Right. So when we win... Where the fuck else do we go, man? We already saved the Well, maybe the then they'll take their... Welcome to Marvel. ...their own yeah. damn hint. But yeah, this is exa- exactly... And they're not going to... I mean, if the, if it goes anything like the comics, it's we're going to learn that they don't learn yeah. the lesson. And yeah. we're just going to get sure. another world-altering... Yeah, yeah we, we have a cross book tie-in end of the universe arc every single summer. Yeah. And it is, it's starting to get... You know, it's wearing it's on comic book people, the, the, and I think it's wearing on movie people. The last Marvel comic I ever read was uh, Avengers vs. X-Men, because I was like, ooh, yes, I'm excited Damn. about Avengers vs. X-Men. And then it was shit, and That's I was bad. like, huh, However, everything I'm coming <laughs> after that was, I, not to talk, get too on comics, everything yeah, coming yeah. after that, the way X-Men, like, Wrote, like schismed and there was like three different X-Men mm-hmm. books at that time I was reading all three of them and loved every well, single one yeah. of them there's the thing of like I used to defend uh, especially Spider-Man comics where you're like they're not gonna kill him so right. I know I'm reading this because I'm just I just wanna know how he does it right. so that's why it's interesting but it's oh it's interesting for a characters like for the odds to be stacked against this one dude when it's the worldwide problem I'm, I kinda don't give a shit I'm mm-hmm. like they're gonna fix it and they're gonna win and the world's gonna be fine right. but when it's just like no okay so Spider-Man's locked in a room and and meanwhile, someone's going to go and kill X, Y, Z. How's he going to get out and get over there in sure. time? Like, you know he's going to do it, but I don't see the way out right now when I'm Absolutely. reading it. And if, if we want to now, we've had our Star Wars, like, I could kind of tie this into to Fate of the Furious. Do we have another man. headline, though? Oh, Let's yeah. I want to talk about something real quick. Yeah, no, we're good. Something, okay. Maybe this is a, we'll maybe this is a, maybe this is a cut section or something. No, no, no. I no. want to talk about this, this, this Mortal Engines or Mortal, uh, yeah, Mortal this Engines Peter movie. Peter Jackson? This Peter Jackson yeah, yeah, movie, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I want to talk about the rise of Peter Jackson, because I just saw that uh, Hugo Weaving was cast in this movie that Peter Jackson's producing. Sweet. And his longtime, like, producing partner is directing. It's like his directorial debut. I don't know. Wait, how do we feel about it? Who's directing it? Uh, the guy, some guy that did second unit on a bunch of Peter huh, Jackson cool. shit. And he did like, Kong, like he did Kong and Lord of the Rings and huh. The Hobbit. Uh, I don't know. How do we feel about the return of Peter Jackson? Um, like, do we feel like he Well, that deserves, doesn't even feel like that's what that is. Like, but somewhere? it is, but it, it's like his, he, Peter Jackson co-wrote the script too. Uh, so it's like very much like his baby that maybe he doesn't want to. I, uh, Peter Jackson has kind of thrown off a lot of his goodwill for me. Just yeah. he's, he has shown that he's a Hollywood ass filmmaker, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But he agreed to do those three Hobbit movies, and he followed through in all three. Well, but but you know his slog. situation was was a lot tighter yeah. than him just saying like, yeah, sure, I'll do them. Like he wasn't supposed to do them until like the eleventh hour. Yeah. And then came on, inherited. Uh, he had 
basically they had done like a, uh, it was like a year and a half or two years of pre-production with Guillermo del Toro yeah, and, and then they, they scrapped all of that design because he was like oh, it's not what my movie would look like yeah. and then they had to start over but their start date was still the same Yeah. Uh, so he I, had to like I love the Hobbit. Yeah, I, I, I give Peter Jackson. I still give Peter Jackson credit for being a guy that like earnestly tried to save a, what he knew was a sinking ship. Yeah, and it just didn't work out. Sure. I was I watched something Depray. It was like from one of the behind the scenes stuff about him talking about Battle of the Five Armies, how they had to push the shoot. They like literally had to take like a month yeah. break or something because yeah. he got to a point I've where he was that. like, I don't. I don't know what we're doing. Yeah. I, mean, I can't do it this way. You're not supposed. To, I'm supposed to have more time to think than right. this. Oh, and I give Peter Jackson credit in almost the way that. I give like George Lucas credit talking about like T.H. Jackson sure. and, and American Graffiti where we're like oh my god there was like these gems before the big old thing mm-hmm. that changed everything like like Peter Jackson's early movies like there's a lot of fun weird inventive stuff there so it's like oh come on baby like give me a little you know like return to that a little this return the- to even the original Lord of the Rings thing you know right. in but some way but this scares way. the shit out of me because I also have like you know these are dudes who like even Sam Raimi by mm. extension, Spielberg by extension, even recently. I mean, he's kind of been like uh, making me nervous the last few movies that Spielberg's yeah. made. And it's like yeah. as much as I, I will literally right. like I will die on the hill for him. But yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, do, there, it, it makes no me ex- nervous as, so, as someone doing this stuff and writing this stuff and making yeah. this stuff that there is that window of like you're at, you know, 27 to 37, baby. You are in your that's where you're going to be your dude. Mm, I don't necessarily you know I mean? agree. I, I think there's no expectation for the old masters to be still good at the game when yeah. the game has changed. Yeah, I think Steven Spielberg, they had and, you know, those legacy guys. Um, who was the guy that did Captain EO or we Francis Ford Coppola? Yeah. Like, mm. you know, these are guys that are you know, they're the masters of the craft. And because that's what we have, we as the industry have built them up to be. Yeah, you know, by extension yes, of the mythology of who they are. But I think a are. big part of their failings recently has been uh, too much of a willingness to accept some of the forward that's, thinking and, that's and, very some possible. Of the, and like using sure. like I mean that's my I've said it a million times about Spielberg and Zemeckis and stuff like that I feel like as soon as they were able to move the camera as much as they are now yeah, it got, yeah. stuff got fucking wonky yeah and and it stuff started looking glossy and wrong and not as like and it kind of it's like that's mm. funny because it's like were the restrictions part of their flavor as right. a film like it's possible or just 40 years of un, untapped dude you're the fucking best yeah and nobody ever like checking in. there's no need to check in on on yourself when you're Steven Spielberg. Yeah, but yeah. he's not a he. But he's notoriously like not an egomaniac. Of course, I, 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 yeah. egomaniac or not, when you're being told that you're the best number one guy for, for like thirty years, yeah. years yeah. that's true. You that's don't true. change. Like it changes your brain chemistry. Yeah, you know what totally I mean? Like does. it's it's hard for you to step out. I guess what, my, my you, point being just that I it makes me nervous right. when I see this. Stuff. But you know what? Yeah. The, the thing even about Spielberg. Not and again. Not to like we've now this is like a third thing we said this about. But not to talk about too much about Spielberg. But like. Spielberg is in this interesting phase of his life where even though he's now doing like the BFG and Ready Player One, Mm -hmm. like, like I didn't love, I don't love all of them, but like Munich through like Bridge of Spies is this weird, like maturing of Steven Spielberg where he's just like, oh, I don't care about the blockbuster thing anymore. I'm going to make like interesting human stories that are like crazy well-made, you know? Like, sure, I, I can know. maybe they say that about- feel Oscar Beatty sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. of Spies. I, I like Bridge of Spies a lot. I've never, yeah, I didn't I see Lincoln. I didn't love War Horse. Didn't love like, War Horse. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is also my thing of like, I kind of miss, like, like War of the Worlds is- Great. And I think it's like maybe like that's one of those cool examples of where the technology had advanced to a point where it was like, oh, this dude's able to be as sharp as he can be. Yeah. But you're not getting like maybe some of the bad stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, oh, War of the Worlds was him able to do all this bonkers aliens in and family drama shit. Yeah. To the top. To the T. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And then it kind of after that, though, I feel like I've been a little like even just in what he's been picking I'm yeah like bored, it's, an, it's like just kind of bored Let's, or something uh, i don't know sorry we're, yeah, we no. need to transition yeah to yeah, yeah. Actual, well fuck uh, this i mean well there we yeah, go there's our two he- there's our two movie. headline things <laughs> what i was gonna bring it back into is like yeah so right. in all this bullshit we like yeah uh, whatever i i don't care how they win i just want or i don't care what happens as long as because you know they're gonna I just, win i know they're gonna win yeah. i want to see how they're gonna win yeah, yeah and yeah. and uh fate of the furious yeah. for me 2017 movie 2017 thank you i didn't care how they were going to do it okay. at all yeah. i was not like i just wasn't interested because the the stakes and the everything felt so ready for yeah. the best episode of reasonable beef ever <laughs> i fucking loved it no, oh, no way yeah 
yeah, dude. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Okay, so we yeah. saw we saw yeah, Fade yeah, yeah. we saw I, Fate I, of the Furious. I heard you before we went on mic. I heard you guys like starting to trash it, and I was just oh, like, no. well, let me enjoy this bitch. Oh baby. We saw oh, Fate of the baby. Furious F8 directed yeah. by F Gary Gary. Yeah. Um, <laughs> F Gary Gary. F Gary Gary. F Gary Gray. F Gary Gray. You know, we have Vin Diesel uh, back. Straight out of Compton was his last. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Uh huh. I don't know what he did before. What did he do before that? I, I He's a young understand. guy. He's a young look, guy. I don't the understand the Hollywood thought presses of like, you did this really great yeah. understated yeah. movie about people. We're going to give you $250 million yeah. to do cars flipping. But you know what that is? No is he had a relationship with someone. That's all that is. I mean, yeah, like, 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 like Hollywood isn't some like amalgamation that like, like that's like, and now F Gary Gray, like <laughs> yeah. you shall the have glowing the glowing speech. But yeah. Ryan I will Johnson. say <laughs> post you know, Mark Webb picked for Amazing Spider-Man. I think it looks cool when they pick these new guys, and I think it looks good for them when yeah. they're like, "Oh, he made yeah, no, look, we care about yeah. the all tours and the next generation of filmmakers." And then they, they then they get in the machine and their bones get grinded up yeah. and turned into the paste of the whole. But other look franchise. at but look at like the Marvel machine. But look at like the yeah, mythology of guys. Colin Trevor. All right, is that like Spielberg was like grooming him for years mm. and was like, "Make this movie." Put a little effects at the end. We'll give you a Jurassic World. Like, like that was that, the, that was the pr- yeah that was a, like like Colin Trevorrow was working for Spielberg for years before. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. He I was, love that phrase of like he's been grooming him for years. It's like <laughs> Steve, can you stop brushing my hair? Yeah, please? Yeah. It's like not yet. You will be the greatest director. <laughs> you of all will time. be the most beautiful director. <laughs> you, have, you just have really tasty bugs in these little yeah. bones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They taste really Boop. good. I don't Boop. know what to say. Great at the premiere. Like a, like a line of chimpanzees. It's like it's like Steven Spielberg, yeah. Colin Trevorrow. Out and then like JJ Abrams. Yeah, JJ Abrams. Is, no, is like Spielberg him. is doing both Colin yeah. and JJ. <laughs> and then like I get all the Dan bugs. Trackenberg is like behind the, the JJ Abrams yeah. one. You know? And um, other other names as well. Anyway, I know uh, movies. Movies. Names, I know movies. I know. How the fuck did you love this? Yeah. All right, where do we want to start? Okay, so I'll start. Where do we want to start? Where do we I'll, I'll start? open it up. Let me open it up because I'm God here. So let me let me let me let me talk real quick. Yeah, I have seen one, two, and three. Okay. And then this one. I want to go to Dom. I've you... seen one, two, three. I'm sorry. Is, are you the host? Do you He's, get to tell when, no, when want, we want, go to people? I want this to be Oh, that must together. be news to I me. Wanna, this is please the use the Patreon <laughs> password. I want to... I wanna... No, I want to go to Dom real fast. Dom, what do you think? No, you I want to... It just I, has to feel like it's his decision. <laughs> are you no, grooming... No. <laughs> are you grooming Tim to be the new host? I want to see... I want us to lead with how many of the series we've seen. Yes. I have seen one, two, and Tokyo Drift. Okay. Too, too fast. Too I have seen one, two, three, and then I think fast five. Whichever the one was where he... Where Letty Where's dies. Four. That's all that one. Okay. okay. <laughs> I've seen all of them. What? Yes. What the? So, my biggest beef. Okay. With this movie, with movie, this is not nearly as fun as it thinks it is. Okay. It's mm-hmm. not like stupid fun. It's mm-hmm. not campy fun. It's just a bad movie that's okay. very expensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the cool shit that happens can be really cool. Yeah. Nuclear sub bursting through the Antarctic yeah, ice. Sick. I was in it. That's yes. fucking sick. rad. Cool, cool, cool. But sick. then the shit that's between the cool shit happening is the most mind-numbing and just absolute terrible movie. It was bad. Um, I wasn't compelled. So I didn't care. <laughs> like, I, you know, and it was weird, you know, we're watching it and I'm seeing like the baby shows up uh-huh. and you hear the audience like melt and like, oh, Dom and the baby. Yeah. And I, you know, we... Full disclosure, Tim and I are very much aware that if we had not created the same relationship with these characters as everybody else who's, who's yeah. seen them all up of until course. this point is made, we're not going to like yeah. melt when we watch Dom Toretto. Sure, or like, like when, when right? Owen Shaw shows up. Yeah, it's like, yeah we're not going to like lose I, our minds about it. Right? No, I, I will say that like, like and, and, I, and I'll, make a, I'll make a point for why I think the movie works and why I think the franchise works, which I think, which is like one of the reasons why I'm on this episode because I am such yeah. like a diehard yes. fan of this franchise. The reason. Is... Is like full disclosure. Like yeah, I'm, no, I'm coming at shit. it from that angle. Mm-hmm. Ryan has and told me unprompted several times how much he loves you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm wearing a The Rock T-shirt right now. <laughs> right. Um, like, and I and I own a pair of The Rock's shoes, so right. like I'm good. Not uh, even his brand, his no, shoes. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. When, when I got them, yeah. and I, I just have I just wear rocks. Yeah. For <laughs> shoes. Uh, but I think I do. I will say that like I think that the movie. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll even go as far as to say it does crutch itself a little bit mm. on the emotional weight of the franchise and the, uh, of the emotional weight of the characters and what's happened. Mm. Uh, that's not like 
a defense of anything so much, but I do like I really enjoyed it because it does feel very rewarding as someone that's like followed the franchise. Right. So maybe certain moments like like even at the end where he's like, uh, like, OK, we're in spoiler territory, right? Like, we're, yeah, I, I, we I, always, I listen to this fucking podcast everything. every week and I yeah, should yeah, know yeah. that. But uh, is that like at the end of the movie, uh, like, you know, during the movie, we reveal that Dom Toretto has a kid right. uh, with his love interest from from Fast Five. And, uh, and then at the end, you know, she's, she gives him the like, oh, well, I wanted the father to be, to give him the first name. Mm -hmm. At the end of the movie, he's finally reveals the first name, which you know we were getting, and it's Brian. Mm -hmm. Paul Walker. Paul Walker. Yeah. Like, like, like there's stuff like that. Too fast, too furious. We're like, if you've tracked the franchise, like I, I teared up and was very emotional at the end of, of Furious 7 because like Paul Walker was gone and it was such a, a weighted emotional moment. So like. Everyone I was with and like the whole theater that I saw it in were like, whoa, at that, even at that, sure. that simple call out of Brian, like that's an emotional moment or seeing like Luke Evans come back as, you know, a other name? British boy, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like those are like, oh shit. Yeah. Moments yeah. Well, that I don't like, know, maybe I'm cynical because I, re- I recall how big the, the final scene from seven was. That was yeah. a huge deal on yeah, the internet. It, it, it was a big old meme with this. It seemed like they were trying to recapture that glory but you know what's by having no, him be I another kind of, Paul Walker no, I like what yet. you said though Ryan about this feeling rewarding because that's interesting yes. and that's something that I'm not going to get having exactly. not seen them where if the, if the ending of the last one was so heavy and then this one just shows up and it's like and now they're on mission and nothing matters and right. they just got to do it and, 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 and you're this like, is oh. my friend's defense this is why I don't like friends because people say hey the, the concept not the show yeah. I don't like people yeah, he doesn't like no, us at all as soon as the mic's off we just leave and he never speaks I look at I look at the ground and I wait for day yeah <laughs> no, my issue with that is like, well, you got to get to know the characters. You got to get to know, like get to know the characters, and you'll love them. So, and me jumping in as someone who doesn't get to know the characters, I'm like, this dialogue is fucking garbage. Here, and here's like the even the funny stuff that that Tyrese Gibson is supposed to say. I'm like, this is all fucking like they it's like he's improving on set and yeah. the first thing he said they kept <laughs> right. and it's just like, like well, well people like this character so you right. know he could pretty much say whatever and i get that concept but as a moviegoer i say fuck that concept okay so, so I, I also think when, when you're on number eight it is and, and again so there's the new it's really there, more there was like the four. Nord trilogy the Nord. no it's it was it's, the it's, new, a, it's a hard eight i'll, I'll talk there's about eight this. but but so you could argue okay if you've seen the last like three maybe you're still you're on board and you know the characters and yeah. but i think when you're at number eight this it needs to be accessible i need to have just been able to step in and not yeah. have to watch yeah. uh what is it what would that be 14 hours of movie <laughs> yeah. just to come and see yeah. the car chase movie yeah. same thing with marvel they're gonna start getting into that corner as well where it's like it's eventually this just need, yeah. you need to be able to just people are gonna start crossing story. dimensions and there's gonna be people in the audience yeah. going what the fuck is i want to be able on? to just show up to captain america having not seen the last couple and been like i like captain america Here's sure. an adventure. Yeah, but they can't like a comic book. But you is. know, but you know what the thing is 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 because I do agree that like there is the argument where like oh a movie should like hold itself up uh, of maybe more than this movie does, uh, but but on the same note like like if you're gonna do a franchise and especially a singular franchise like the Fast and uh-huh. the Furious like you can't just abandon like no, of massive not. movements like 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 especially with like the death of his his love interest from from Fast right. 5 like like that's a super important character moment for him that does like explain a lot in terms of like what's going on but like and like pushes him forward but like you, you you that's not earned unless you've seen the fifth one you, like like there's a lot of things where like you can't just but throw this stuff thing. away here's the thing though there's a way that this movie could have uh, put me in its spell yeah and if i knew because you know what you know from the movie and right. it's fine he shows up okay i understand he has a history with this woman i didn't yeah. recognize her right oh my god and she has a baby that he didn't know about yeah. and that's important maybe other people already caught on that he didn't know about it but yeah. i was told yeah. and i was like cool look i can like get behind this but it wasn't like deft it didn't no, sure. it didn't do it's like it stumbles around i mean the movie is two hours and 40 minutes and it stumbles it's 40, over it's, two hours and 40 it minutes it stumbles over its whole dick the, the, Holy the shit. i mean it's it's not true tri- <laughs> it stumbles over its dick the whole time it's, it's a whole it's, dick it's, it's whole it's, entire dick it stumbles it's just over tripping. it is Two hours and 40 minutes. Actually, 40 minutes. I have seen seen two numbers. I have seen two hours and 17 minutes and two hours and 40 minutes. It's two seconds. Both of which are unacceptable. It's okay. Let me talk. Let me me talk. Let me talk about Fast and Furious. Yeah. Okay. Fast and the Furious is. Let me. Let me. Hear me out just a little bit because I'm going to say some bold things up front. I'm going to try to talk them through. Fast and Furious, I think, to me, is, is the most consistent action movie franchise maybe ever right like we're eight movies in and it's still fucking rocking and rolling 
uh, you, if you want to, I, I, I was thinking about saying this earlier, and like maybe you could make art Marvel. Marvel's a superhero mm-hmm. movies. I'm not talking. I'm talking about. Action. Are you saying modern though, uh, or just ever? Uh, maybe ever. James Ma- Bond. Yeah. Okay. James. Okay. James Bond. Sure. But it's uh, that one always is. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. It's Bond I, uh, action. Whatever. I mean, but exactly. Like, like, that's why. That, that's why regardless. I said action is because like Bond is like this. A this spy this movie. is very much yeah, yeah, yeah. an action this is movie. You're yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. So like. Like you, the growth of the franchise is like what I think is the most commendable thing because the first one is really just kind of an interesting indie movie about dudes who race cars in L.A. Like it's it, go back and watch it. It's like a yeah, good they're stealing fucking, they're stealing VCRs. That's like yeah, the, it, it's like it's like a <laughs> that good the, interesting the weird movie that then the studio just fucking put its dick in its ass and was like, now we're gonna have ludicrous and fucking yeah, yeah. and tits and music and blah blah blah. And Too and Vin, and Vin Diesel was out because he was becoming a movie star. They bring it back into. Ex- Exploit it even further in the third one. Everyone's out. They have none of the original stars. They were like, Tyrese, doing, is, is Ludacris in the second one? That was Tyrese Gibson in the second one. When is Ludacris, Ludacris coming? And today? Tyrese Gibson. Okay. Vin Diesel's out. It's Paul Walker and and Tyrese being super gay in Miami. Uh-huh. And, <laughs> and, That's true. And, and no, actually, the, the director was gay. He, he tried to make, it, he tried to make it a gay thing. No, he tried to make it a gay thing. He actually did. Wow. Uh, uh, and then the when fir- they grab the stick shift, that's it, actually it's supposed to be watch a dick. too fast. Watch it. Does it? Okay. But so they they exploit it even further with Justin Lin now on board. Right. Mm-hmm. The third one right. tanks so hard they need to reshoot and put Vin Diesel in the movie on the stipulation that Vin Diesel gets to return to the franchise the way he wants to do it. Him and Justin Lin set up the fourth one as a prequel to the third one because the main Hayo character from the third one was so popular. They prequeled four movies. Tokyo Drift happens inside of, of yeah for of, Han of, right uh, to yeah, resurrect Han, Han. Yeah. yeah yeah and okay so so like there's a really interesting and obviously well thought out like development to the story of this franchise uh-huh. starting at four each of them has consistently found a way all the way through this one I think has found a way to to remain like interesting and new in like its mm-hmm. own unique way see let me counter yeah. i didn't find it interesting at all yeah. okay and I none of it felt new of, <laughs> it, it all felt like it had a couple inspired action moments like yeah. for sure yeah that's of what course, I'm for sure about, and I'm, I, I, when, when i but say a couple, like but a couple and like, like when i say interesting and new i am talking largely about like i'm not i, I, I i'm talking about the set piece yeah sure. i'm talking about the action sure. right because right. we could talk about narrative i want to talk about narrative too but i think like like in the fourth one they're ripping through fucking tunnels right the fifth one is i think the best one is like they're in Brazil and they're ripping through. There's a like crazy train heist. Like they're like like they always are kind of re, uh, they're throwing them off of airplanes. They're going between buildings. And this right. one, every action set friend piece is is unlike anything you've ever seen. Right, ripping through New York City, fucking zombie cars. Okay, yes. come in. That, that, yeah, self driving cars coming that out. That was the, awesome. Awesome. Now, but here was my number one burning in my fucking heart question when that started happening in the movie. Yeah. was why wasn't this the goddamn movie? The the premise yeah. of someone hijacking the self driving cars to driving people off the fucking Amazing. road. Amazing. That's enough. Amazing. I would watch that the whole time. Yeah. yeah. I would have rather and, watched and, and that sequence seven times back to back for two hours and forty minutes. When they do turn around that corner and then a fucking whole torrent Amazing. of cars. I was like, Whoa. Amazing. But then yeah, but awesome. the hour and thirty minutes getting up to that was me dragging my dick and balls through glass. Okay. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> okay. So, but but let's Jeez. but let's talk about narrative then in this movie. Because like the, oh, okay, one quick thing on on we can we agree that like except with the Cuba thing, the Cuba was a little bit of like a oh we gotta lay some groundwork kind in of the move. beginning. The what? But the Cuba chase and the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Which is, but but even that, like like, <laughs> a, like an okay respect. car chase, and then he's the car's on fire. Yeah, and he's yeah, yeah. Put, I was awesome, on dude. board in the beginning and, of the movie, yeah, because it's silly and it's campy, and then it immediately turns into like as soon as Charlize Theron's character intru- gets introduced, it turns into some weird pseudo spy movie. Sure, like it's half Jason Bourne, half uh, I don't know, like House Party or but, another equally dumb. And I could tell you're fired up, but I just yeah, I I'm also want to make ready, a, man. Make, uh, when that happened, when when he finally met her, it was telling of how the rest of it was going to go. Because yeah. I remember she she's standing there and she goes, and we don't see any of this by the way this is just her saying it she goes like yeah dom how you uh how your favorite coffee place was closed and you had to go down two blocks and this isn't the street you take it i've been trying to set up this meeting for a very long time yeah and then my number one question right after she said that was like why if she knew he was here why didn't she just fucking like walk up to him and like tell him this and show him the phone like why did she have to change his coffee routine yeah and break her car and then basically the the whole movie where i was like i kept being like 
Why did they have to do that? No, Why couldn't I, she have just said? <laughs> and I'm not excusing because I'm not. I, I want to be clear. Like I'm not excusing right. any of those moments because there are a lot. And like even, but but what I will say, I want to say this about about the action set pieces before we talk about narrative. Because yes. I'm fucking. Well, no, let's do the action. Love, I mean, I the action is like seventy percent of the is, movie, is arguably. The action exclusively in this Fast and Furious movie, which I think is like the fifth best one. Like <laughs> I don't think it's near the top for me. Okay, is well. is is all of them are like more inventive than like pretty much every Marvel set piece that like, like there's, there's some moments of Marvel, but remember how like the yeah. penultimate Dr. Strange thing was like, he can walk on walls. Like it was, you know, like, yeah. like, like, like it's so much more inventive and clever, especially in a filmmaking way. And, and, and so I will say that, I like, think I agree with that as far as aspirations, but, right. but it is that, uh, you know, I'm not watching a YouTube supercut of the car no, chases sure. from the movie. So sure. when I'm like, yeah, when I'm in there and dude, I, I would have, I asked, and this is, I, I don't, I have a hard time on this podcast saying like, I hate stuff, yeah, sure. but, but Same. this, if the, if we weren't doing this for the podcast, this would have been a movie. I left. I would have walked out. Yeah. I, okay. I think I, I was, out. I was yeah. hard off board Here's at the a, thing. Okay. by a certain point. So you know how like champs live their life in, in trees. We're back on shit. Yeah, good start. Yeah. yeah. No, you know, they like live their life on trees and they'll like sleep on a tree branch. Mm-hmm. And even though it's precarious, that's just their life. You yeah. know what I mean? They just, they live up there. So it's not that exciting. That's what this movie turned me into a chimp on a tree branch because so much shit was happening. Yeah. Like the, the action scene, nothing would happen for a very long time. And then yeah. a cool action sequence would happen for 10 minutes. I let her, I, bleh, I fell asleep. I actually mm-hmm. drifted off to sleep around the time when Dom starts going to the submarine to mm-hmm. plant a bomb underneath of it. Yeah. I had heard like engine rev noises for so long that yeah. it started to become like a lullaby to me and yeah. I started to fall asleep. I'm, I got too stimulated. I understand. Like, and you're, you know, it's, I'm glad you said it because you, you are right. And I'll give it its credit for mm-hmm. there. As far as what it's doing and like the way it sets up its action sequences, right. it is very, yeah, they're inventive. And you could tell that that's where this movie was start. That's where they start. Yeah, of course. You, you, of and course and that's fine. Yeah. You know, someone was like, I want to see them in the snow now. Yeah. I also and, just realized F. Gary Gray directed Friday. Incredible. Oh, really? oh cool. <laughs> um, is that true? Is that true, Nick? <laughs> uh, uh, but, well, were you, were you at a thought? You were in the middle of a thought. Um, I, it's, it's just like, I, in the beginning too, I was like, I mean, there it's it's it was cheesy in the way of not like we know that because that again okay, this this is made my biggest beef is yeah. there's a difference between cheesy we know yeah we get it yeah. and we're doing it and yeah, yeah, we're yeah. having fun there's a difference between that and sometimes you get those glimmers from the rock mm-hmm. who knows what he's up to he of knows the movie the rock he's is in fucking brilliant in this movie and there's but but most of this movie mm-hmm. arguably mostly from Vin Diesel and Charlie Theron like. Mm-hmm. They were taking it so seriously and saying some of the dumbest shit I've mm-hmm. ever heard. Mm-hmm. So, okay. And I was like, how am I supposed to keep buying in? You're, you, it was asking so much of me scene to scene right. to just keep saying, I don't care. I don't care. I don't well, care. Yeah. Well, let's, like, so let's talk about this, about your guys's like full on reasonable beef thing, right? Is like, is the movie accomplishing what it wants to accomplish? I don't think so. And I'm perfectly would, honest. See, but I would argue, yes. And maybe that's because I've got a history with a franchise. I know a little bit more about the expectation of the franchise, but look at Vin Diesel's yeah. career, right? The Vin Diesel and the rock actually have very similar careers because they produce all of their own shit. Mm-hmm. The Rock literally had a scene in this movie where he does a fucking Samoan chant yes. because yeah. he's a producer and he wants he wants <laughs> to maintain a certain image. Vin Diesel's the same way. Vin Diesel wants to be righteous. He wants the movie to have Christian undertones because he's a like he's yeah. got certain expectations. And so the way Vin Diesel is Vin Diesel is 100% what he wants. Vin Diesel looks at himself and is just like, <laughs> yeah. No, and, and and that's not that's not great. <laughs> That's not I, I a would great agree, way to go about stuff. I would stuff. agree. But, but I think, but so I think that like when you're judging it and that, like the movie sets out to, every, it, everyone sets out to do their own thing kind of in the movie sure. and maybe that's a little bit of the issue is it rubs up against each other where tonally we're like, you're having so much fun with Jason Statham and The Rock throwing it at each other and then it hits Vin Diesel and Charlize Theron who are kind of meandering their way through scenes. So there's some rough edges I don't to it, think sure. it's, a, it's written well at all. No, I, it's I, not. I just think not, Vin, Diesel, Vin Diesel gave himself the worst friendly smile in recent yeah. cinematic <laughs> history yeah. of like, uh, yeah, I was Jason like, stayed them at the end where he's like, oh, I, saw, I saved your baby there. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, but I do think that like, like while I would agree that like a good movie narrative or like good movie logic or whatever you want to like, like chalk it up to be would be like talk, do the self-driving cards, only do the nuclear thing. But I think like, if you look at any of these movies with the exception of five is that like they, they, they have some fucking half brain plot 
and you just race through five that, ideas. That fucking nauseates me the way you say good movie because it sounds like these Fox News absolute ghouls saying liberal. Oh, fuck like oh you. yeah, the typical liberal. No, movie. no, like no. a good movie would do this. No, but I'm saying that like that's like that's like what we that like I, like I'm not saying this is like some great or genius movie. Again, I don't this totally is understand. This is the fifth on my rank of eight. You know, like <laughs> right. movies, right. but like of this franchise. But like, I think it. They know what they're up to. They're doing it, and then, and then they do it. Give like me that list, top to bottom. Don't uh, think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already got it. Okay, it's go. it's it's uh five is is five. if you haven't seen five, it's the it's the it's fucking amazing. It's super smart, super well written, super well directed. Uh, five, seven, one, four. Uh, where uh, what did I leave out? Uh. <laughs> uh, eight six three two. Welcome to reasonable That's my social security. Number. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, we both like, had we both had very different <laughs> jokes lined up because at the end of that true. list. Because like 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 talking about especially the last few, they had these really deaf directors that like Justin Lin, you know, was like really whizzing through these. Couldn't things. hear them Yo, at all. Deaf director. As bad as you can. Uh, deaf. I said deaf. I know what you said. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just. Uh, uh, it's okay. Well, let's compare it. Let's cut. We're definitely stunted because we don't know. We haven't seen the one. Sure. Before. But I, but I'm not, I don't want to use that as a crutch. I don't, I don't want to like, I'm not trying to base any of my okay, arguments here's on the thing. that. There's, I believe both things here. I yeah. believe that also you need to have seen them to fully enjoy them. Yes. I truly believe that. I believe that about most if, mm, sequel things. This is the most, this is the one that you need the most of. Right. Like I would say that like if you, if either of you saw five, it would rock your dick I off. I also like, it's so want good. though, and I, I uh, still feel like I'm 12 when I just randomly like want to watch spider-man 2 yeah. with my family and yeah. i'll be like it doesn't matter just 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 watch it yeah sure sure as hell it would help to have seen the first one but like you don't let's just go you're yeah. gonna have a whole experience and no, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be fun and like i i, I don't know man I'm, i don't I'm, know i think it's a failing but it just bummed me out that i wasn't able to just let me on let me board. offer this these are movies for dumb people yes and i want to talk about this okay. too because i got a fucking argument for yeah. it mm-hmm. is that is that now we're talking about like the expectation of right. a movie, right? Of it doing what it needs to do. And like, like I love a movie, like, like it's this Jeff Nichols quote, right? He says he's trying to, he's trying to, uh, when he makes a movie, he wants to tell the audience as little as he can and still get away with it. I love that. Right. Love that thought. A really understated. Also a flawed. Understated yeah, director. Thing. But you know, and it can go <laughs> yes, the other way. Yes, yes, yes. And in some movies, you know, you, you get beefed on because they hold your hand and they really carry you yeah. through it. This is a movie that's fucking dragging you and yeah. it's like, catch the fuck up. Yeah. Because like, like these are movies for the masses, man. These are movies that are going to slay all over the world, make a fuck ton of money, and they're going to keep doing them. Mm-hmm. Unlike, I don't know, like movies that we like to like bitch about because like no one saw a Midnight Special or whatever. Right. But like, so so so, so when it's like, so when it's someone being like, when when Kurt Russell being like, "There's a heat seeking missile," and then it cuts to the rock, "There's a heat seeking yeah. missile," yes. and then you cut to the heat seeking missile, like like that's like mm-hmm. bad. I yeah, guess that's not great. But, but like, but you gotta just like accept it you know like and like you gotta dude, accept the language of we fast were, and the furious i was trying and and yeah, you yeah. know me i love to love things i, I don't get off on disliking stuff and right. it makes me feel sad yeah and it makes me feel like i'm being an asshole when yeah, yeah, i didn't yeah. enjoy something well, as me, much as i can feel, feel the, the movie wanted me to feel stupid but, movie that's that's good something that does what this movie's trying to do better than this movie uh, I, I'm trying to think. Even like Lock, Stock, Two Smoking Barrels, uh, uh, Shooter, I, I, fucking King Kong. He recently Kong Skull Island. Yeah. You know, Kong, and like Kong I, was Kong was a uh, was you know that. Yeah. And, and this is when you're saying you know did it the, our our beef. I don't know what you would call it. The beef bar that Christ. we have does it do what it's trying to do? Yeah. And I think. It frequently enough is not. I think. I think sure. the scales are in favor because it is because it's trying to be funny. Yeah, and it's trying. Which it, which and it it's, is uh, several times. Uh, it is. Uh, I would some j- say more than it is. And someone says something where he's like. He says it in the cadence of a joke, but it's not necessarily like a joke. Yeah, all right. And like, they, but like the Jason funny. Statham like baby fight, I thought was like a very that like was oh great. fun. Yeah, I yeah, was that having was, where was that? Here's, yeah. here's the thing. When uh, for for all my beef with it, though, once I mean we're setting up a revenge final act, yeah. no matter what, because he's held under the gun. Whatever. Yeah, we know that when when he takes everything back, it's gonna feel good, and it did. Yeah, and I so that in that respect, right on. I was happy once I was like. Finally, he's gonna fucking turn it around. Yeah. 
because not for nothing, but there was most of the movie going by where I was like, couldn't he tell his team that they that the lady's doing this to him? And he's just like, I just got to do like, yeah, just but- stay out of our way because I got to do these bad things and then or whatever. Or I, I don't yeah. know. Like, but he did. I mean, it does reveal in the end that that he, he was did. setting it up. But but he, they he, didn't know. Yeah. But he he was protecting them. Like, I don't know. Like, like you could reason it out. I'm sure. That's why yeah, he got, I could, like, I could like, like it. it cut to a shot of like the yeah. two guys that put Jason Statham and gave him the EpiPen. Like those are two main characters from previous movies. Sure. Right. Like and then you got like the Cuba guy like that was like oh yeah he was setting it up in his own way you know? yeah, it's, it's cheered it's when fair and I guess they, yeah. I guess he needed the, you know the Charlize Theron character needed them to not know yeah for it to yeah, work yeah. and like but it kind of seemed like they caused more problems than they would have if he said I right. don't. <laughs> like, yeah, because I gotta do. Uh-huh. But no, but, but like, but what were they gonna do? Let the world? Yeah, I don't know. But you're like, I, the thing is, is that like, like, because I agree. And again, I like, I know I'm like really advocating for this movie, and I'm just doing that like for the sake of like us pushing conversation. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Like, like getting to some, whatever the higher point is, because like you know, again, five out of eight. I was mad, but I got angry but when like, I was watching it. But let's talk about it. Like, like a movie that I thought was like much, much worse was like fucking Power Rangers, man. Yeah. Like, like Power Rangers is a movie that fails on none of the levels, right? Like, and I mean, this is one that them. right. Yeah. And so, like, so I like, okay, I want to talk about the character, right? Talk right. about, yeah, yeah, sure, talk sure. about the narrative Why a little not? bit because, like, if you look at a movie like Power Rangers, and if you look at a movie like. Uh, like even the be- even a lot of the beef with Kong was like some of the characters are so like ill defined. Yeah, yeah. Is is this movie all of them to the point of caricature? Sometime are fucking clear cut. You know who they are. We got Nerd Girl. We got Ludacris the Nerd Boy. We got Tyrese the the, the Loud Mouth. Right. We got the you know like everyone is like you know what they want. They're in the scene for one fucking purpose, and then they go out. So it's like so crystal cut. And it, as I guess so two dimensional characters. Yeah, but it also yeah, but I, I, no, but I know what he's saying, and I appreciate that, and yeah. I, I like that when you're like what, what we were just talking about, where I was like, I love when it's just clear when I yeah. know what he wants, and it's yeah. just gonna do that. And I think I uh, part of the problem was like I didn't know what the villain wanted for way too long. That's yeah. one of my I've. I've realized I have that problem with movies a lot. Right. Where when we, if, if we're halfway through and you're, st- and if, especially if it's not, if again, if it doesn't have me in its spell, mm-hmm. but I don't know why the plot is what the plot is yet. Yeah. And we're an hour and a half in you're, it drives me nuts. I'm the like, plot. okay, well for fuck's sake, what yeah. is she, what's the end game here? And she didn't even really, once she explains what she's doing, by the way, yeah. I still, that scene ended and she calls herself a fucking alligator and she's out. And I'm like, yeah. wait up, but, but sure. what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Well, she wants to end all wars by, hol- like by holding, holding everybody nukes. accountable. Yeah, like, and that—that that was her thing. It was one line of dialogue about what she wanted. No ideological reason. No, yeah, no. I, it's just you know, I want to be able to aim guns at all the world's powers in case they misbehave. Yeah, I, which is would uh, have which rathered is, up front her say, "I want to rule the world. I want to have right. all the nukes." Well, but yeah. that's and that's my issue with that movie, and yeah. because that right. motivation is a scene from the hat villain motivation of uh of like wanting to hold power to like keep the world safe. Yeah, that's just one of those things where it's oh, you know, it's multi layered. You know, she's actually a good person because she wants to bring it's right. it's it, very the stupid. movie has a weird it, it definitely has some issues about like the way in or the way it delivers information and the order it delivers information where I thought like I was like mm, this is the most effective way this could have happened right like if something like like it just kind of like was super quick to like acquit Dom of being a bad guy you know whereas like what if we like kept that story go like kept that image a yeah. little bit longer like there was certain moments like that where yeah, I was it like just brings up that whole quite yeah right that was a whole thing right you think oh is this gonna be that he maybe starts to realize that yeah and I thought that was an interesting part because again I haven't seen the movies yeah but I sort of know what they became came just from like trailers and blah 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 so i was like oh this is gonna be cool are they gonna basically question like no do you remember how you started you were a criminal in the first yeah you gotta that's the guy you really are that's a really interesting it's it's a super thing to bring up eight movies later right well that's what i thought and that was like one of the things i really appreciated about it is like is like even at eight movies it found a device to like make things like and and maybe you guys were like oh it wasn't interesting at all because nothing supported it but the idea of like we've got this team we've been building this team and then we pit their leader against it cool that's idea like, that's like a base thing that's what yeah. Marvel hasn't figured out is how to make their fucking movies interesting but after it, all but it almost doesn't fucking matter because the execution was so slapdick awful yeah I mean that's like what it I was, mean, it, it, was it was half it, it, it doesn't matter what your premise is if your execution just yeah. falls flat they're also only they only part. really go up against him once and that's kind of annoying too in the sense of like 
All right, so we're watching like the big hook of it is that he's turned on them, but like really, it's a hook scene as well. Are they hooking? Yeah, and that's cool. And I I saw that 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 in the trailer. I was like, cool car choreography. Yeah, Yeah, that was that's hard to say. Cool car choreography. Mm -hmm. I thought the whole New York scene was pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, it was was really great. Uh, Yeah, me too. And again, those zombie cars. That's that's a sick enough idea. And I was cars coming out of the building is. But but, but I was also annoyed when that started because this this movie does that thing that and it's probably honestly I think this might be beyond the what i saw as mm-hmm. as bad acting as mm-hmm. bad writing it was very self-serious and that's probably why i'm having such a heart because you're saying what right. was it setting out to do i think it thought it was way more like oh, yeah fucking but that's like profound yeah. than it really was and that's that that <laughs> yeah okay. really rubbed me a weird way every right. time when every single scene ends with someone like throwing back the last line with a little curveball yeah. and with some stank and then the music goes yeah every scene that shit gets boring but like what was i gonna with um um fuck what how did i start that uh i don't know self-serious uh i don't remember but but but, uh, let me let me just say that uh i I felt that way about the jokes as well whereas the music was setting up the parts where i was supposed to laugh yeah or setting up the parts where i was supposed to think something was cool where it'd be like uh let's go it's like that wasn't that cool you just yeah. you just said I mean, a thing it's like ultra cheesy though but like but like no some- it's not i wish it was ultra cheesy but it, that's yeah. my that's my biggest por- part that's my biggest problem with this is okay? that it's not <laughs> very campy it's not very self-serious yeah it is a whole lot of dumbass movie in not a good w- not a way that tickles me personally at yeah. all i mean i think that like it is like especially where some of the other movies are like so fucking wild where one of the things I appreciate about this is whereas like the last two have been like super sexy. They're in Dubai wearing fucking yeah, sick yeah, yeah. shirts. And this one was like not trying to be sexy anymore. It was like, oh, we're just doing this like other darker thing. But like really because it opens with a shot of Cuban asses. No, but like besides a the ton Cuban, of but, Cuban but asses. That, but that's what's funny is like they still maintain it. They're like, we're going to keep this in one scene. I think that that's that. that has to do with the fact that it's in the Antarctic and it's hard to show an ass yeah. in a parka. <laughs> yeah. well, it's like, ah, oh, well, we're well. gonna do it. Uh, but the thing is, is though, is that like, I guess like maybe my taste and like what I've come to love about, like, I don't really give a shit about Vin Diesel, but especially about The Rock is like The Rock, like to me, is just having so much fun and is such like a fun dude that yeah. when he's just like, I'm gonna beat your ass like a Cherokee drum, I'm like, yeah. ah, fuck yeah, man. Yeah. Like, it, it, like, like, like that just strikes the, me as very how like much fun. The, yeah, that's, but that scene was so, I thought that that was remarkably dumb. And how much of that scene's chemistry was the fact that, oh, this is Shaw and, uh, Jonathan the Rock, who whatever the hell his name is in this <laughs> Luke in the movie, Hobbs. like them talk. Hobbs, yeah. Really? Ugh. Yeah, Luke Hobbs. That, Luke that dude, Hobbs. that is an insurance salesman. That is not a badass. <laughs> whatever. The fact that a lot of the novelty of that scene is the fact that these two are talking trash to each other. Yeah, and but there's also when some it like, comes to actual trash talking, it's not that good. Yeah, but then like the fight choreography is like pretty cool. Yes. you know, like and again though cool, these yeah. things yeah. they kept. Uh, asking me to forgive it for the other stuff that was right. driving me crazy right and it was and, but, but one big thing and this is maybe i like that you said that that's a really good way to think about this movie I think. it kept uh, the one thing that maybe pushed me the farthest away mm-hmm. over and over again was the magical technology in it and now i don't <laughs> oh, know like the, the franchise shit, yeah i don't know them and i I'm, I'm sure that after you've had three movies to warm up to this sort of shit yeah. you're fine with it but like i am so sick of We'll find another camera. Here, I found an ATM, yeah. and then it zooms in in an <laughs> it's like ultra crystal HD clear, yeah. Film. And it's like that's. I know that that shouldn't bother me as much as it does. But again, in a movie where it feels like it thinks it's being really smart, and like right. you didn't know technology can do this, yeah. did you? And it's like, but it can't. What you're doing is fucking crazy, yeah. and it's literally uh, science fiction magic. It definitely goes way the fuck over. And that every one. time, yeah. oh my god, there's a fucking hack battle. Dude, yeah. what yeah. was going on? There Why did they that do that incredible. for that long? It was making me mad. <laughs> yeah. Where they keep just showing and her finger. The boat's moving. The boat stopped. I stopped the boat. Oh, no, yeah. she started. She's pretty good at this. And it's then like, what yeah. are they fucking and playing versus Tetris? Exactly. Like, what is going I, on? And, and, this- and that is such a, like, I I think we're done with that. I think we're beyond that. Yeah, really we totally do. are. I think yeah. we're, we're, we're smarter than that. That's an, that's an unacceptable moment in a movie. It's like like fucking people typing and saying yeah, things. They're not, yeah. they're not, there was so much. Yeah. In this movie, so much like booking an airline flight, yeah, like yeah. so <laughs> really clicky oh, keyboards, yeah. like I gotta. Yeah, but it, the I don't know, man. That bilateral. That, again, so, so what? The point I was getting at with right. that was there was so much. Of There's that. a lot of it. Yeah. There was so much, te- and it was so dependent on all this technology. Right. There are not that many smart driving cars on the road. No. I know that for a goddamn yeah, fact. But like, but like, okay, like the hacking battle, battle, I bet, yeah, fuck. But like that's something. But, but, like, but here's they- the thing: 
if that was the point of the movie and they took at the time in the beginning to say, so we have this thing yeah. that can hack into the blah, blah, blah with the cars. There's a, we did that the, movie. It was called Eagle Eye but with there was Shia a, LaBeouf yeah. in 2008. Did they drive cars in there? Oh, pretty, didn't, couldn't the, the, the computer, spoilers, like take control of like different devices? Oh, are we not supposed to know computer in that yeah, movie? I think that's the big twist. The Anyways, but the... the Whatever. But I like what you say because I you no know, yes there's but I like what you said what Dom said about like it being a balance right is there, there's a balance where like on one side is like shitty narrative and on the other side is like fucking bonkers ass yeah. action scenes and depending on like how you perceive that it's gonna f- tilt for you I think and I from think moment to moment me, it tilts I, no it, but I think it was an overall thing where like like I was so much willing, more willing to accept it for what it did mm-hmm. well. And overlook things that it did poorly, sure. which was just... It's, it's almost like I didn't, you know, uh, uh, they they made, they made just talked uh, too much for, a lot for, for what yeah. it was up to. And yeah. I feel like, Less you know, talking. it's down the scenes where, you know, I can, I can excuse because it's awesome. And you got, you got to genuinely hear me when I say this. Like, the idea of them driving on top of as the subs coming up and it's breaking mm-hmm. the ice all around mm-hmm. them. Yeah. And they're stuck on the top, like... Yeah. That's so cool to me. That is, ri- like, yeah. mm-hmm. childhood mm-hmm. fantasy cool. Yeah. But when then like we cut in, when, we, when we go yeah. into the car though, and the one character says like, "Just tell me this is gonna be all right, isn't it?" Yeah. And the other one's like, "Yeah, we got this." And then like pops the thing like yeah. that well, is I like almost, stop doing that though because now you made me think it's dumb again. I almost wanted that to be the Power Rangers movie. Like yeah. I wish this yes. tone. I wish the yeah. Power Rangers movie had this tone of like yeah. now they're all driving their own special little car and it's right. all got special little powers. It's like yeah. where is they need to form together to make the fast bot or at right. the end or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I would I would say that like not as a way to salvage your opinion of this movie, but just as a way to consume a new movie you've never seen. Go back to Fast Five. Like, watch Fast Five. Like, I, take my word for it and watch Fast Five. I guarantee and just you I will see, like it. And, and just see, because I think, like, if you watch Five, you'll enjoy it, and then maybe go to Six and Seven, is that those movies are way better directed than the, this one is. And, like, there's a yeah, lot I, more. I, yeah, like, Jeremy a, Lin. Or no, no, uh, uh, Justin Wan. Just, Justin Lin and James Wan. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like, those guys fucking get these movies. And so I don't Jeremy think, Lin, the basketball uh, player. Yeah, sorry, Justin sorry. Lin, Justin Lin. No, I know, uh, I know. Is so like up. there's like you, you you can see what the potential of a movie like this can be I think in those movies because mm-hmm. this is not mm-hmm. the best of them by by a stretch but I, I used know. to enjoy the the joke about Fast Five is that it's the the best name for a hand job that I could possibly think of <laughs> yeah. let me give it Fast Five just grab it, I'm gonna click Fast <laughs> Five all right gentlemen we're gonna bring this through I think we're reaching that time yeah. let me get final thoughts Damo uh I I I. I didn't like it, you know, I, and I think the reasons I didn't like it are, are fair. I think it wasn't, mm-hmm. it, it wasn't capturing me, man. I don't think it mm-hmm. did a good job of, of weaving its spell. Ryan blew it. Uh, Despite its flaws, Ryan uh, Blewett is here. Everybody, I never oh, yeah, intro him. <laughs> yeah, I got some shit I could talk about. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll time. plug it at the end. Okay. Um, uh, d- uh, despite pretty major flaws, it succeeds as a worthy and progressive entry to a very enjoyable franchise. Okay. That's nice. I thought it was fucking garbage. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it at all. I really wanted to. Mm-hmm. Um, not campy enough and a little bit too self-serious, too much talking. I need more. I, I need s- shorter action scenes spaced less far apart mm-hmm. in order for me to really enjoy this. But I, I don't know. I'm not invested in the characters either. Yeah. Um, it's a big part of it. I know. Yeah. I know for a fact. I know mm-hmm. I'm... Almost positive that we would be easier on it if yeah. it had come after a real banger of a yeah. yeah yeah especially I hear seven was fantastic so it's so far yeah good, man. right yeah. so it's like and I know we would be gentle right on but I would say it's so. like well, this is Dark Knight Rises right? especially if people are listening and like haven't seen the franchise start at four even yeah. it, four is where it really kicks off but like just see just go see what it can do okay. because I think it's rad fast in the go see fast fear this okay. is i think i also want to say that i love the dynamic that we immediately went into with like it would have been fun if we were all like oh fast and the furious or blah 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 or if it was like another episode where like everyone was like fuck power rangers right, but like right. i love that i like this movie and yeah. that you guys did well, it I, I would love the yeah. idea of doing another fuck power rangers episode though if we ever want to do like a negative power, think rangers, about power episode, rangers again in my life I, i've grown uh, like i've i've grown addicted to the cell phone game i i have you're like number have one spent, in the world yeah no, <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've become very good at this I, power I rangers cell phone Twitter, game. Yeah. it's upsetting 
Um, <laughs> it's, it's, I want to say quickly about Power Rangers is that I, I've, I said this to Dom and I've, I'll, I want to be on the record about this is that Power Rangers is the kind of bad where I hope I meet the director like Dean Israelite or whatever so I can personally tell him to his face that yeah. I think he made a bad movie and he should be ashamed. You'll never. <laughs> the thing about Saban is that like the people that the people that work with Saban never bad, work too. again. <laughs> The people who work with, with Saban rarely work outside of so, like all the actors on the Power mm. Rangers shows. Right. They've never done anything outside of that, so I don't know. Right. They, they do their own thing. We're gonna do three headed critic. Okay, we're all gonna right. wrap this bitch up. Here wrap we go. Uh, I'm gonna start with Ryan. Ryan, Dom, me. The fast <laughs> and furious <laughs> eight. <laughs> My. <laughs> No, the number. Christ, the number eight. He did it again. Well, I like that. The Fast and the Furious <laughs> ate my <laughs> Christ. Yeah, all right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, I, 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 that's the that's actually the plot of uh, the tenth one. <laughs> <laughs> Dom it's, Toretto ate Jesus Christ. We're gonna yeah. track this motherfucker down. The other thing I want to say on the record, that I want to be, bad. I want to be public in a thing that's being consumed by people. I want to say that if the tenth one is not called Fast X Furious, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, what's the nine? Ryan said this to me for two years. It's nine. Yeah, the the I'm telling you, Fast and the Furious. Yeah, Fast X Furious because it's ten. Sick. Nine. I don't really give a shit about the like the. Let's skip. Let's do the Windows thing. Just skip nine altogether. Yeah, just, just jump go, right yeah, to, just ten, go to ten. Because we're trying to put the X. All right, guys. Oh, I have the, the, right. the, what is it? The Fast and the Furious ate my Christ. Yeah. Um, and the furious. it's the worst one we've done. Really? Do you want to do another it. one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Start, Start with Dom. It. Dom yeah. to me, then Ryan. When I saw <laughs> my Christ. <laughs> no, come on. That's the end. That's it. <laughs> when I saw my Christ. No, please. What happened when I saw my Christ? <sighs> I tripped and fell into <laughs> Christ. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. That's <laughs> a reasonable beef. Ryan Blewett, thanks for coming into thanks. the den. Please oh, plug, I hate it. plug hey, Ryan. I got plug shit away. now. I got, sh I got yeah. more shit. Tell when me was all I, about uh, it. I got a new podcast I'm doing pretty on the regular. What's uh, it called? Almost every week. It's called Me and All My Friends. It's on SoundCloud and iTunes. Very good. Uh, Dom's on it. Tim's probably going to be on it. Other people who you can't hear but are in this room are going to be on it. Uh, it's a good time. I talk to my friends. It's really like, casual and conversational, and I think you'll people will like it. Good. Where uh, can we get to that? Uh, iTunes. Uh, SoundCloud. It's on, it. it's on SoundCloud as well. Me and all my friends on either of them. Super easy to find. Uh, Is that listen to Dom's letter and ampersand. Uh, what? what? It's like your URLs at me and all my me friends. and all my friends. Word all words. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right. Listen to Dom's episode. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Also, I got a new web series, Valet, season two. Mm -hmm. Came out, stage two. YouTube.com slash cool. stage two. And did you just do a feature? Are you touring that? Uh, almost. Spring. Next, cool. The next time I'll be on the podcast, probably, Brad. my feature relative. Well, you can push no. it then. You yeah. can push it then. Um, I don't, I'm not even going to ask you. What are you going to do? Are you doing anything good? No, what? <laughs> Is anything good? What the good? fuck? <laughs> Tell me, oh, Don, give me your moment of zen. That's the thing we've been doing lately. <sighs> okay. Um, uh, when, you, when you're opening your beer, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm -hmm. Put your your f other fingers you're not using to hold the bottle opener on the cap. So when you open it, you have the cap in your hand. Yeah. Everybody likes to just hold the bottle opener and then the cap goes flying. It's not a thing that you need to have happen. Wait, what just happened? Moment of Zen. And it's just like a, you know, I don't know what. It's. Do you ever watch the Daily Show? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, 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 not really. Really? They used to do that thing. No. Oh, but except wow. it was like a clip, and this is just me saying stupid shit. Yeah. It's so it's given like yeah. a Zen, a Zen like. Uh, bye, everybody. <laughs> this is great. This, was, <laughs> this has been a terrible ending. Simultaneously good and bad. Ending. Oh, hey everyone. Bye. Bye.